Hey, my name is Sean. Welcome to Echoes in Eternity Bourbon. Today, I'm going to go over rye three, which is a, is a new rye uh, whiskey for me. Um, this is something that's a blended whiskey. It's also a barrel strength and toasted. So a lot going on there. Uh, it's coming in at 121 proof. Uh, this is also a store pick from Mr. B's, one of our local liquor stores. Um, so this was something that I had sampled uh, probably about a month ago. They were having, uh, they were having a customer appreciation day. I was told about it. I went down there and sampled a few bottles, and this is one of the bottles that I picked up. And I said, you know, let's save this for, for a nice day to try something new. And I said, this is the day, so we'll try it out. So a uh, lot of interesting good news coming on before we get into, into the bourbon. Number one is uh, tomorrow's the Alabama bourbon drop. I'll be hanging out in Auburn. Um, looking forward to seeing you, some of you out there. I know that there's some people that are out there that uh, won some of the lottery numbers. I did not. I'll be a walk up, but there's some really nice bottles and I'm interested to see even as a walk up, how many people won't show up for spots and, and what might be available. So that's always something interesting to find out. Uh, another thing too is uh, I talked to some people um, at the bottle shop and they had mentioned something about 13th Colony potentially moving their double oaked this year. And so I, I reached out to the people at 13th Colony and they were like, no, we are, we're on target for this fall. Of course, that double oak will be going through seal box and there'll be some local distribution. But they also made mention that, hey, be on the lookout. We have some single barrel stuff from 13th Colony also going to seal box here real soon. Uh, and it'll be locally distributed. So if you're a big fan of uh, the 13th Colony, which I am, uh, look for Sealbox to have some single barrel stuff from them. Definitely looking forward to that. Um, talking about 13th Colony, there's someone that's a, that's a subscriber here and, and absolutely uh, love talking with him at a personal level. Um, you see him on there as, as the Man of Steel, but he he had some amazing news today, um, something that... Uh, he had been praying for, and I've been praying for with him, that just phenomenal news. And uh, Grant, I'm, I'm so very happy. He's uh, uh, He's got some uh, big news coming up in his life, and uh, hopefully within the next five days, uh, we'll be able to share some even more amazing news. So that's phenomenal there. You know, sometimes you just get great news in a week, and you're just like, man, I just don't know if there's enough time to share how awesome it is sometimes. Uh, another subscriber and personal friend of mine, Jeremy, um, you know, he's, he's someone that uh, does a great job of hunting bourbon with me. He actually had the opportunity, um, to do a bourbon share, you know, and if anybody's seen Bruzel, um, from this area, TJ, he, he does a lot of good stuff. I don't know him personally. Um, but Jeremy, you know, he was able to go to a bottle share with him and, and had a phenomenal time. Um, he had asked Jeremy, you ever, you, you know, Jeremy just literally shared this with me before, before we started recording this. He said, uh, Ruzel had asked him, TJ had asked him, uh, have you ever had any pappy? And he's like, no. He said, he filled me about three quarters of a Glen Karen full of pappy. You know, so it's it's nice to find some really cool, authentic people. Um, it said he had a blast. The people there were amazing. Had so many different things that he tried that he's never tried before. And it just makes you thankful to see that there's an awesome community of people out there like that. So there's more than just the people that you see on the TV. There's a lot of depth to people. Um, so awesome to see that, uh, that Jeremy got to spend that time and do that. So very thankful for that. Uh, finally got all my answers back on my 12 blinds. Looking forward to putting that together this weekend. A lot of good things coming up and, and thank you all for all your amazing questions. Um, your thoughts, um, and, and from my dad this week, when he fell, thank you for your, your goodwill and wishes and prayers towards him. I truly appreciate it. But let's see what this Rye 3 has to offer. I'm telling you right now, it. It's coming in at a real nice, dark, dark caramel color. Um, it looks pretty viscous just by the way that the, the oils are clinging to the side on this. Deep caramel, getting some butter on here. A 
You're getting some bread, a little bit of a breadiness going on. You know, maybe a rye bread coming on there. Get a little bit of a marshmallow too. So very nice nose up front on this. Very interested on this nose. Let's see what we got for the palate here. This is very nice. I'm getting almost a chocolate toasted marshmallow note. <clears throat> Lots of the rye spice coming in, some peppers coming in on it. Very, very full bodied flavor on this. I mean, it just kind of punches you right in the tongue right off the bat. Really enjoy that. Now, you know, on the second sip on here, it's kind of mellowing out a bit. Now, this is 121 proof, but it's not burning me or blowing me up on this, which, which I really like. It's got good mouthfeel to it. It's got a nice medium to long finish on this as well. Really, really liking this. You know, you figure it. We're in the middle of, oh, towards the end of uh, June right now. It's pretty warm outside. And usually maybe to rise not your thing. Man, it's got a nice bloom afterwards too. So this is more on a longer finish on this. I don't know about you, but I, I always try to think of rise more of like a fall and winter type of a bourbon. And maybe that's just my mindset. But uh, even in the even in summer right now, this is outstanding. getting a little bit of oak, a little bit of tobacco, but it's not overpowering at all. But I do get that rye spice. It goes from the tip of your, your, your tongue all the way through the back of your palate, but it's not burning you up overpowering. Um, it's just kind of like you're just getting this nice spice cascade that comes with it. I would say that if you have not tried this, if you're a rye fan, this might be something for you to try. I'm thinking I probably need to pour a couple of samples to bring this tomorrow for the bourbon drop because I know there's a couple rye people there and I have a feeling that they might like this as well. Um, one of them being someone that uh, actually was part of the 12 person, the 12 uh, sample blind. Yeah. Rye 3, my first experience with it. Really like it. A lot going on with the toasted barrel. The barrel, the barrel proof, different blends of rye. You're getting a nice punch of flavor up front. You're getting a nice finish on the back. You're getting some chocolate, got some marshmallow on there. You're getting a little hints of vanilla in there, but you get some of the bacon spice, some of the rye, a little bit of the earthiness, but not too earthy. Uh, and a, you know, great finish on it as well. This is something that uh, I'm happy to have on my bar, and it may be part of a, a sample pack for later in the future, but we'll see. Um, looking forward to some videos this weekend. I hope you all have an amazing Friday night. Um, a Friday night pour started um, with subscriber supplied. Thank you, Terrence. Uh, and that was for the uh, Crown Royal 23-year-old Golden Apple, which was like eating, it was like drinking, you know, a, a what do they call those? I'm trying to think of the name of the apple. But, um, I don't know. There's the, there's the apple that I, I'm trying to think of the name of the apple I really like, but it's kind of like a, a golden crisp apple type of thing, but with the caramel on top of it. I mean, it plus it had some like green Jolly Rancher flavor to it too. So great way to start the night tonight. The rye right here just, just brings it nice and home tonight. So a couple really, really good pours. Looking forward to tomorrow. You all having a great weekend. Thank you so much. Echoes in Eternity Bourbon. Please like, comment, subscribe. You all have an amazing day.